All right, hey, today what I want to do is show you how I'm using uh, Chat GPT Plus uh, and more specifically uh, the GPT-4 language model uh, to create uh, SEO optimized blog posts with the help of Neuron Writer. And I was uh, really um, enjoying the kind of content that I was getting out of GPT-4. And I wanted to see, you know, what could I do to sort of streamline this workflow and how much longer would it take me to create my own prompts and create my own blog posts and do all my own SEO optimization with the help of Neuron Writer as compared to some of the other uh, AI writing tools that I'm using. So let's get right to it. So we're looking at ChatGPT Plus right now, and I am going to be uh, using GPT-4 uh, so to create this blog post. So the very first thing that I need to do is I need to find something to write about. Uh, my typical workflow is to go to my keyword tool, Low Fruits. Uh, it's one that I really like to use for finding long tail keywords. Uh, it does uh, really make a difference when you're trying to find those early blog posts for your new blog where you have a chance to rank. So in this case, um, I'm going to write about why is mountain biking so addictive? And if you're if you haven't seen low fruits before, it shows you weak spots uh, where you have an opportunity uh, to to rank for a particular long tail keyword. So for example, what it's showing you here, these little fruit icons, uh, you have in position three in the Google SERP, you have a DA14, uh, you have a forum, you have in position seven, a DA6 website, and then another forum. So there's definitely weak spots for this long tail keyword, and let's go ahead and go with this one. So I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I need to create a content analysis in Neuron Writer. Uh, if you're not familiar with Neuron Writer, it's an SEO optimization tool. It's a lot like Surfer SEO. Uh, this particular tool uh, I've been using for quite some time and really enjoy it and I've had good luck with it. So let's go ahead and I'll start this and we'll then get back to the video. All right, Neuron Writer has completed the analysis. So let's go ahead and take a look and see uh, what are the various websites that we're going to have to compete against. And we'll get a little bit of an idea of things like, you know, content score, uh, length, word length. You know, we've got one, one really lengthy post in here of 6,000 words. And what I really like to do when I'm using Neuron Writer is make sure that I'm matching the search intent. Occasionally, uh, there's a post that's in the SERPs that really doesn't um, align with what we're trying to what we're trying to write about. So, let me just go through here. I'm going to take out this one. It's a forum. Addictive. Ten signs you're addicted to mountain biking. I'm going to add one more. So I think we've got the search intent matched. So let's go ahead and generate uh, all of the various all of the various terms that we're going to have to use in our blog post to rank for. So let's go ahead and take a look and see uh, what it is we're up against here. Uh, notice this competitor's best score is an 87. This is a really high score. So this is sort of an interesting article to try to write because I'll be curious to see if the prompt that I've created is going to enable us to get close to this score. Uh, so far it's been working well, but this is going to be a real test of it. So um, we'll keep going. And the very first thing that I do with Neuron Writer is I use it to build my outline because my outline needs to be created so I can use it in my prompt. So let me show you what I mean before we get into that. This is my prompt. So I'm gonna go through and just quickly show you what's in it. 
this is from another article that I used uh, or I created using this prompt. So it's already filled in. I'm going to have to fill this in for this new article. But I ask it to, you know, write a 4,000 word blog post, um, add an H1 title, uh, following, use the following outline and write at least two paragraphs for each section of the outline. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And then what I do is I put the whole outline in and I designate it H1, H2s, H3s, like I'm showing you here. And then I take the keywords from Neuron Writer and I say insert the following keywords within the blog post in this order. And those are all the keywords. I want it to use. I ask it. I ask uh, ChatGPT to add a key takeaway section after the introduction. Use any unused keywords in the FAQ section of this blog post. I also ask it to um, add some text decorations. So in this case, I say highlight any of the keywords used in the blog post. Make them bold. Um, I also can prompt sections of the blog post. So in this particular blog post, I had a section called pros and cons of flat pedals. And I said, please, I said, add a table of pros and cons. For the section, what features to look for in flat pedals, I said, add a bulleted list of features and so on. So I can prompt the sections and where I think a table would be useful or a bulleted list will be useful, uh, I prompt it for that. I also ask it to cite sources where it can. And then I also add, ask it to add links within the blog post. And I have some URLs here that I asked it to add. Now, typically, ChatGPT uh, and GPT-4, uh, you're not going to get a 4,000 word blog post out of it right away. So I have follow-up prompts. The first follow-up prompt is rewrite the blog post, but greatly expand each section. And then I followed up with another prompt. Rewrite the blog post, but greatly expand each section and make the content sound as if it was written by a human. And that's what I've been doing to uh, create. This is the prompt I've been using to create these uh, blog posts with ChatGPT and GPT-4 specifically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to build out my outline in Neuron Writer. And when you're in Neuron Writer, there's a section called Ideas. You can see right here. You click on that. You can then look and see what your competitors' H1s are like, H2s, and H3s. So I use these as guides for creating my titles or my headings. So, so the, the thing that you want to be aware of is if you decide that you want to use like this, why is mountain biking so addictive? And that's a good thing. You know, if you copy this and you put it in, just realize that you've just copied a heading from another uh, site. So when you use Neuron Writer to create your outline, just be aware you've got to go in and tweak these so you're not doing a direct copy and paste from another site. So let me finish out this outline, and when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. So I've went ahead and finished this outline, and let's just slowly scrub through it here. Uh, some of it was ideas that I received from the H1 sections here, H2 and Neuron Writer, and these H3s that you can also look at in Neuron Writer. And so with this outline created and done with the H2s and the H3s, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this outline, I'm gonna bring this over and repopulate this prompt with uh, the outline like you're seeing it here from a post that I did in the past. And the other thing that I'm going to do is add my keywords. And this is why I really like Neuron Writer so much is all I have to do is in the content terms and specifically terms and article here, these are the terms that you want to have somewhere 
in the article that you write. And notice just by adding all of these headings, specifically the H2s and the H1, which really boost your score. I'm at a 66 and I haven't written any content yet. The other thing to be aware of in Neuron Writer is another thing that boosts your score is putting in a title and making sure that the title contains the keywords uh, that you're targeting for the article. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the way that you do that with Neuron Writer is I'm going to copy these, and then I get a list of terms and copy those, and I'll bring them over into my prompt as well. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to update the prompt. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll start writing the article uh, with GPT-4. All right, so I finished creating uh, the prompt and updating the prompt with the information I got from Neuron Writer. So we're writing a 4,000 word blog post called Why is Mountain Biking So Addictive? Because it's fun. Write in a friendly tone of voice in the first person. I prefer to write that way. Um, use an H1 title called Why is Mountain Biking So Addictive? Because it's fun. And then of course, I'm asking it to write two paragraphs for each section. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. We'll fix that if it doesn't. And then here is the outline. So I list that. Insert the following keywords within the blog post in this order. So this is all the keywords that I got out of Neuron Writer. And I want it to use, you know, as many of these as it can naturally. Um, it does a really good job of doing that most of the time. I've asked it to add a key takeaway section after the introduction. And I've also asked it to create an FAQ with any unused keywords. So I did ask it to do some prompting of each, some sections. So for the, what are the cognitive benefits of mountain biking? I said add a table. Um, I need to take this out. This is from the old prompt. I'm glad I saw that. For the section on mountain biking community and friendships, add a bulleted list of reasons why that's important. The section on physical fitness and health benefits, I said add a table of benefits, cite sources, add these links. So now the prompt is complete. So let's copy that and get over to GPT-4 and start writing this article. But I think it was important for me to show you uh, how this was crafted before we start writing. So we are going to start a new chat and let's drop it in and get started. Okay. So it's starting, starting to write the article and what I may do is go ahead and just pause the video and when it's complete, I'll show you what we have. Okay, it's completed writing the article. And we'll go through. I noticed one thing. Uh, it created the joy of being outdoors in a couple of different places. So this is probably going to need to be adjusted in the editing. But any AI-created article you want to edit. Uh, I want this text to be a little bit expanded, right? So if you remember when I was talking about the blogging prompt, uh, there's a couple of things that I've done in the past. And one of these is to go with this follow-up prompt. And I usually do this a couple of times. There may be better ways to do it. I'm certainly not the greatest prompt engineer in the world, but this is what's been working for me. So this is why I'm showing it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Go with rewrite the blog post, but greatly expand each section. All right, so now let's go back up to the top of the article. It's finished writing it because I asked it to expand the article. Sorry for all the scrolling. But as you can see now, instead of a single paragraph for a lot of these headings, now we're looking at anywhere from two to three paragraphs. So it's done a good job at expanding the content. 
So I could just go with this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my final prompt, which is rewrite the blog post, but greatly expand each section and make the content sound as if it was written by a human. And I'm just going to run this. And while it's running, I'll pause the video and I'll come back. And when it's completed, we'll uh, take a look and see what we have. And then we'll pull it into Neuron Writer and we'll take a look and see what our SEO optimization score is. All right, so that final prompt is done. And um, I've been reading through this, it looks good. I mean, obviously there's edits that you wanna do. Uh, you wanna make sure that all the data is factual, uh, that it makes sense. But I like the fact that I've got the text de decorations in here, that it's expanded this text. Um, it's got the tables that I asked for, just to break up the, the white space, make it a little bit more readable. Another table here that I asked it to create. Uh, I asked it to create this bulleted list under mountain biking community and friendships. Here's one of the links I asked it to add. Here's another link that I asked it to add in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to copy it over into Neuron Writer. And let's take a look and see how it's going to score, what kind of SEO optimization score we get. So there's the end of the article. Let's go back over to Neuron Writer. And we'll copy it in. So we're in 83. So the competitor's best score is an 87. Now, you know, that is a really well-optimized score. Part of it is going to be because I know that article was extremely long. It looked like it was a 6,000-word article. I just don't think there's 6,000 words to write about why is mountain biking so addictive, so I don't think I would try and do that. 83 is more than, op well, more than optimized enough. You don't want to over-optimize just to try to get to the 87. The thing to be aware of is if you notice it says top 10 in Google, the average is 44. Uh, you, you know, you're already well optimized and more optimized with a better score than most of the other articles that are in the SERPs. So the only thing that's going to hold you back is the fact that you're a new domain, potentially a new domain, without much domain authority, and you may not have a lot of backlink profile. So, you know, there's other aspects of of uh, SEO that may keep you from breaking the top 10, but you have a good chance with this article because you've used Neuron Writer to help with the optimization. And like I said, you could do the same thing with um, uh, Surfer SEO or Phrase or some other optimization tool. I just happen to use Neuron Writer. Um, and so uh, that's how I create uh, an article with ChatGPT4 and Neuron Writer. And the thing to note here is, here are all the content terms um, in the article that were used. So it used quite a few of them. Didn't use all of them, but it used enough of them to, to bump us up to that 83 score. And the other thing that you can also check on is uh, show the uh, score details and look for keyword stuffing risk. And in this case, the overall content scores an 83 out of 100 with a 0% keyword stuffing risk. So that's not an issue. Um, I do want to mention uh, something about Neuron Writer. It is a lifetime deal at AppSumo right now. You can get, it, get in as low as $69. Um, and you can stack codes. So uh, if you need to do, you know, uh, quite a few content analysis 
queries per month, then you can stack some, stack enough codes to do whatever it is you think you need to do. So on a single code, you've got 25 content analysis queries. And that's where I put that long tail keyword in and got the SERPs back and got all the keywords that I used to put in my prompt. And then you can also stack your codes here. So I don't know how much longer Neuron Writer will be on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. It's already been on for about three months. Um, it was off for quite a while. I've had the tool for well over a year. Really like it, works quite well. Uh, just in the interest of full transparency, uh, I showed you Low Fruits. I happen to be an affiliate for Low Fruits. So if you were to purchase that through the link that we ha that I have in the video description, uh, I'd get a commission, same thing if you purchase Neuron Writer. So that about wraps it up for uh, this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them. And until next time, take care.